Thank you Rise of Kingdoms for sponsoring this video. And these are the steaks we're going to be using for today's experiment. As you can see, there are four beautiful prime New York strip. And since we have four of them, you know I'm going to be doing four different experiments with Starbucks coffee. So let's go ahead and jump right into the first one. Whenever I'm seasoning my steaks, I like to transfer it to a steak plate. This will catch some of the seasoning that will fall off the steak, which obviously makes us save some money. As you can see, I started seasoning the steak with a good amount of salt, followed by a very special coffee rub. To be specific, a Starbucks coffee rub. And here's how to make it. As always, remember exact amount and ingredient always in the description down below for you. I started with coffee grinds, followed by garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, and a pinch of cayenne. Now all there's left to do is to mix it well because your coffee rub is ready. As you can see, it is easy to make. And hopefully it will make our steak taste fantastic. The only thing left to do now is to put it in a bag, vacuum seal it, and get it ready for sous vide. That's good because we still got a few more to make. And the very next steak, I'm not quite sure how you're gonna feel about it. I first started with the seasoning, and for this specific one, you want to season it extra well. You'll understand why in a little bit. So I started with salt, followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. As always, not only did I make sure to season both sides, but also the edges and make sure that was a little bit extra, because I'm afraid some of the flavor is gonna get diluted. And that's because of our next special ingredient, which is this. It is the Starbucks Caramel Frappuccino. And my kids love this thing. So I mean, if it's good, it should be good in a steak, right? So I did the complete unthinkable. Throw the whole thing right in the bag. Oh boy, this one was tough. Hey, is it gonna be good? Put it down in the comment section and you tell me what you think. Now the very next steak is gonna be special, like the previous one wasn't, right? And this one is a coffee butter, and here's how to make it. I first threw in the coffee right into the pan. I wanna reduce it to a syrup. This should make our butter nice and tasty. Keep reducing until there is almost nothing left. As you can see, once I was done, this is what I was left with. Because the next thing to do is to go ahead and add our butter. Oh yes, a whole stick of butter. In case you're wondering, I am using salted butter. I think it gives an additional extra flavor. So I just added that up and let it melt. Once it was fully melted, the next thing to do is to go ahead and harden it. And for that, you're gonna need a container where you are able to pull it out after. So I got this one right here, it's a tear shape. I decided to go ahead and lay some plastic down. This should be nice and easy to remove once it solidifies. And take a look at this color, it almost looks like caramel. Now the only thing left to do is to let it rest in my refrigerator until it's completely solid. After about 2 hours I took it out and take a look at this. That my friends is coffee butter. And it smells phenomenal. And to remove it, the clinch plastic did its job, check it out. It comes out nice and easy. And as I slice it, oh man, it's super soft. Hopefully it will taste wonderful with some steaks. Talking about that, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and season the last two left. One of them we're gonna be trying it with our butter, and the other one is going to be our control, with nothing on it. So after seasoning it with salt, freshly ground black pepper, and garlic powder, the only thing left to do was to bag it up, vacuum seal it, and get it ready for the water bath. Now that we have all of our steaks ready, I'll be cooking all of them in the same container at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. And hopefully some of them will be 10 times better than the others, but that is for us to determine determine real shortly. As you saw it there, everybody, there's one specific one, which I'm pretty sure you know which one I'm talking about, that I am not looking forward to. I kind of know that it's not going to be fantastic, but at the same time, there's no way that I can tell you something if I don't give it a try, right? I have to be true to the channel. And for that reason, we run some insane experiments. As you know, I cooked all steaks at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. That is enough time to cook them all the way through and hope hopefully introduce an incredible Starbucks flavor into the steak. They are ready, we are hungry, and it's time to take them out. Let's do it. I know it doesn't look that good right now, but watch this. Oof, 
that's looking good, man. Let me ask you guys a question now. Did you know Vikings love to eat? You can get to experience all about Vikings as they've just landed the new updates of Rise of Kingdoms, who are the sponsor of today's video. You can join the fight with me by using the link on the description down below. In Rise of Kingdoms, you can pick one from the 12 real world historic civilizations. Enjoy the unique architectural styles of those 12 civilizations, just like traveling the world and tasting the local cuisines. Use one of their famous military champions and expand your empire on a huge world map. They have been on the shelves for nearly three years and they are still one of the most popular strategy games in the world. And the best part? Recently they announced the Viking civilization is coming. Ragnar Ludbrok, a legendary Viking hero, and Bjorn Ironside are leading the Vikings charge in their attempt to conquer the world. Check the link on the description to download the game now and you're gonna get a civilization change coupon worth $50 and an in-game props by using the code ROKVIKINGS. Participate on the contest in the second link for a chance to win an iPhone 12 Pro Max, an iPhone 12 Pro, or an iPhone 12 and a lot of resources. Thank you once again Rise of Kingdom for sponsoring this video. Now let's get right back to it. All right everybody here we have our beautiful steaks today my mom. Yes! Steak everybody! Steak! I love a steak experiment. We are steak people my mom. That's what we are everybody. Oh the car just went by you're like he's hungry too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll start right here okay? Okay. And you're gonna tell me good right, bad or know. ugly. I want to know everything my mom. I want to know everything. Super tender. Mmm, smells amazing. And perfect medium rare, edge to edge, with just a little hint of the crust. Which is what we like. Oh, Mama, can't enough, wait for this. Enough talking. Let's All right. It. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Mm. Please tell me. Mm. Tastes like amazing. <laughs> it is absolutely oh my God. heaven. Ooh. Extremely tender. Huh? Super, super tender. It's like. Tender to the max, everybody. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Nothing else to be said. <laughs> exactly. Now let's go ahead and go for the second steak. It smells a little different. Oh, it smells different, boy. <laughs> it's not inside of the steak. Uh huh. That much. Wow, this it's guy is. Edge. This guy is coming out good, man. Oh, something sweet. Something sweet. Oh, maybe I don't know. Enough talking. Cheers, <laughs> Cheers. everybody. That is different. It has a little different hint. Yeah, not not so powerful. No, it's not very powerful. I was expecting more, but I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting more. The steak's still amazing. Still perfectly medium rare, juicy, beefy, amazing. Everything you want on a steak. Everything you want on a steak, but there's a little hint of a flavor on top of it. But you can't really describe what it is. You cannot tell. I'm gonna say it to my mom right now because I have to tell him. So this one was with a very special butter. But what I did with the butter is I put it on the grill so the butter overflowed a little bit towards the grill. Maybe what you should do is reserve a little bit of the butter and let it melt on your plate and then you can just grab that butter and you know what I mean? And that will be a much more powerful experience because this one is very mild. I think a lot of the butter butter just fell off. Not much difference, I 100% agree with you. All right. Okay, let's go with the next one. This one is no butter. <laughs> Oh, this one's something else. Oh, here comes the weirdness. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Mmm, mm, I like that one. What do you think about that one? Whatever it was, there's more than that one, and mm -hmm. it doesn't taste like there was a little hint of sweetness from okay. the other one. I couldn't detect that on this one. No? No. Mm, which one do you prefer so far? I still like the control better, but that one is pretty close. Maybe after I know what it is, I'll change my mind. <laughs> Let's go for the last one, Mama. Let's see. Oh, it smells a little bit. Uh, you tell me, how does it smell, Mama? Oh, whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Come on, Mama. Smells amazing, doesn't it? No, 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 no. Hold on. Oh, uh, what yeah, is it? It was like that because I was smelling on the steak. Uh, what I is know, it? I know this. I know, of course you I know, know this. this. Of course. <laughs> Mama, look at my mouth. My mouth's already figuring it out. My mouth is mother is for the smell of what it is. Before he actually find out what it is, let's give it a try. You ready, Mama? Let's go. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Coffee. <laughs> How do you like that, Mama? Oh, wait, but it's not Cuban coffee. No, it's not Cuban coffee. No, no. Starbucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which one, Mama? Something with whipped cream. Yes, mama! Damn, mama is good, everyone! This is my Starbucks right over here. <laughs> I absolutely hate this one. How about you? Huh? <laughs> Tell me, mama. 
as a steak, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> but it really tastes like a frappuccino, so it's yeah. good. <laughs> so here's the deal. We got the coffee experiment. The Starbucks specifically to be an experiment, yeah? Okay. Which one do you prefer best? We want to know since you are the coffee expert. Okay, as a steak, yes. the control is the best. Yeah, I'm going for it again. <laughs> Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.